right. Well, yeah. I want to welcome everyone to our fourth annual SCC IDL SIG virtual open house. So we decided to have this event because all of us are all around the world. And since we're a virtual community, it's often hard for us to gather together as a community. So we came up with this concept in order to bring our members together. Not just bring our members together, but also to um, educate prospective members about who we are and what services we offer. And so um, during this call, we'll talk about our mission and goals. You'll get to meet many of the volunteers that make this SIG a wonderful place. And then we'll have a chance for you to ask whatever questions you have about us. So this is going to be an online party, so to speak. And you'll learn more about the SIG. And if you're not a member, we'll tell you how you can join. So let's go ahead and begin by discussing our mission and our goal. Over to you, Robert. Thank you, Vicki. I'm Robert Hirschnell. I'm one of the co-managers of the IDLC. And you, you can see our mission statement on the screen. I'll read it just for fun. Our mission is to help STC members develop knowledge and practical skills for designing and implementing technical instruction in electronic and traditional classroom settings. Also to promote sound design practices and provide information and education about instructional theory and research. And our goals as a special interest group is to build the instructional design skills of members at all experience levels, leveraging the knowledge of experienced members to deliver formal and informal guidance to the community of practice. I probably should have started by saying my name is Melissa and I'm the other co-manager. Um, we also build the IDL SIG through a proactive combination of activities that includes member recognition, internal and external partnerships, and awareness activities like this virtual open house. Jamie, you're back on, so you can right. click on the button. Actually, I can't since I'm not a host anymore. Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't have the power, but um, over these next several slides, you're going to meet many of the volunteers that make this big, um, the wonderful place that we are. And this picture that you see here is all of us at the IDEL SIG um, business meeting at the STC Summit in Anaheim, California. And that's why you see a lot of us wearing Disney Mickey Mouse ears and such. So what we for the past couple of years for our business meetings, we like to have a fun theme to get people engaged and to for people to attend, especially since we have our meetings early in the morning. So um, this is just a wonderful way to gather us together and to, um, to meet in person, because the summit really is the only chance, the only formal chance that we have to see each other's faces. We hear each other all the time. We keep up through social media. And sometimes we get to see each other one-on-one um, -on -one if we happen to be traveling. So this is a chance for us to see each other in person. And so over the next few slides, let's meet some of this Motley crew. And no, there's no Tommy Lee in there, sorry. There's no what? Tommy Lee. I was oh. trying to a lean joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have our first co-manager, Robert Hirschnell. Tell us a little Hello bit about again. yourself and what you do. Well, I'm uh, in the home stretch. Melissa and I are in the home stretch as co-managers um, for the rest of this year. And it's been a, a very interesting experience, lots of fun things, um, and lots of great experiences. I would recommend it to anybody who's interested in finding out how organizations work and uh, in managing a volunteer group. Um, before I was uh, SIG manager. I was the manager, managing editor of the newsletter, which was uh, taken over by Krista, who's also on the call here. And I did the newsletter for about 10 years. So I got pretty comfortable in that role. The, um, the manager role is bigger, and it's kind of a big step up. But now, as Melissa says, I'm about ready to go on vacation. 
I also have a terrible cold, so I'm not doing much singing this week. And um, I can't really talk very much because I've got to mute my phone so I can cough. <laughs> I hope you'll all, all excuse me and we'll move on here. No problem. Hopefully you get better, Robert. And by the way, great job on your webinar earlier today. Next, Melissa. Melissa Rourke. Take yeah, away, that's Melissa. me. I'm, I'm the weirdo. Um, yes, Robert mentioned that we're on our way out the door. Uh, but we don't, we luckily, I think, don't uh, leave the fig, the fold of the fig yet. Um, I remember when we first took over the previous co-managers that were Cindy and Preeti, Preeti. right? Yeah, that's yes. right. Um, they hung around and got the application in for the Community Achievement Award. And uh, it's, that's a pretty big um, event. If people are online and they're not familiar with it, all the um, communities, either chapters or special interest groups, are a bit, um, eligible to apply for a Community of the Year Award, a Community Achievement Award. And um, in that, you outline what you've done over the past year to keep your members involved and engaged and um, working towards the goals and the mission of the society as a whole. And uh, our SIG very proudly has won at least a, like the second highest level or the highest level of um, community awards um, every year for the past 10 years. So we're not going to stop now. We're a fun place to be, and we have lots of really interesting people and lots of interesting events, including this uh, volunteer open house and um, a virtual open house. And um, we keep trying to engage more people um, to give you value for the money that you spend on your membership as STC members. As a SIG member, I just wanted to say, um, that's where I've gotten the most value out of my membership in the relationships that I've formed with people, knowing that at the drop of a hat when I come into a, a professional situation where I need some help or advice or different ways to think about things, um, I can pick up the phone or jump on the computer more likely um, and dash off an email to any one of literally hundreds of people. Um, specifically, like one to one, I can ask someone else for help. I'm not emailing a group and hoping somebody answers. Um, I have, I know people because of my association with the SIG. I know specific people with skills in specific areas and uh, these are things that help me succeed. Real concrete, pragmatic things that help me succeed because of my membership in the SEC. So there's the little uh, paid advertisement, um, unpaid advertisement actually. And uh, back to the fun stuff, I am uh, have, I've known last year the summit being in Anaheim and Disney was just the best thing, the combination of two things that I love. And uh, so we really got into Disney, as you saw in that first um, picture. But I'm going on another Disney adventure after Summit 2017. We start off the summit is going to be available to register for uh, the 1st of December. And this year it's being held in um, Washington, D.C at the, someone's going to have to remind me the name of this place because it's different, it's not the Hyatt, it's the... It's the next, so it's the National so Harbor. One? Yeah, thank you. National Harbor um, Convention Center yeah, in Washington, D.C. And then well, from there I'm going down to Cape Canaveral, Port Canaveral, sorry, and we're taking a transatlantic cruise across to Copenhagen, stopping in a couple of places. So these are just a couple of my favorite pictures of me um, being silly with Mickey and Minnie and dressed like Minnie last year at the event, which is, I still can't believe I did that. And there's me with some of my home decor, which, yes, incorporates Disney. There you go. That's me. Now, is Lori back? I don't think so. She had to leave the no. building because the alarm was going off. So let's jump and on to Vicki. Okay. So I am Vicki Dill, and I wear a couple of hats. Um, one of my hats is that I'm assistant co-manager, which means Robert and Melissa are showing me 
how to become a co-manager, so I'm learning the ropes. Um, I'm also the webmaster. Um, I'm the programs director, and both of those are really fun jobs. I really actually like being program director. It's really rewarding. But my fun fact is that um, I'm a musician just like Robert, and um, we have a family band at my house, and because our last name is Dill, we're called the Dill Pickers. And I also have played in the STC band, which is called the Rough Draft, and Robert is also in that band, and we are hoping, we have our fingers crossed, that we'll be able to play at the summit in uh, 2017. Um, the Washington, D.C. chapter is really interested in getting us on board, and I'm hoping they'll be successful. So I'm looking forward to that. So that's my fun fact. Awesome. Thank you, Vicki. And, and so just uh, mention a little bit about um, our programs. Well, as we've already talked about, Robert had a really great program today. Um, he's at the bottom of the list, but he should be at the top of the list because um, his program on animation techniques in PowerPoint was really good. It was really practical. Um, it was something that I think anybody, regardless of what their job duties are, um, could walk away with something um, that they can use today, which is what I love about our program. You know, you pick up things that you can use on your job today. We had three TechCom showcases, which meant that we partnered with some of the other STC organizations to do our program. We've had three of those. Um, we had one specific to video training with Mary Whalen about getting started with video training. Um, of course, the summit, I count that as a program, and that is a huge success. And then we had um, another sort of a general purpose program. Don Hedke talked to us about what he would have liked to have known when he was first starting out his career, and he basically just talked about the things he'd learned in all of his but he's got like 130 years of experience. That's an exaggeration, but um, he really helped us with just some really good life skills. And Jackie Damrell talked about her career re um, reinvention. There's been a lot of interest in how does one get into instructional design, and she talked about her own journey. We had lightning talks that had several of us. Um, Jamie was in that. Um, Melissa and Robert were in that. Um, that was really fun. And then, of course, our wonderful student outreach program, we've had, we did have a webinar about our student outreach program in which we had kind of a question and answer session. So, like I said, I love being programs director. If you are interested at all in um, meeting a lot of technical communicators and getting to know them and spending time one-on-one -on -one with them, especially some of the leaders and the thought leaders in our field, I would encourage you to sign up to be Programs Director because it is so much fun and you get to know people really well and it's just super rewarding. Thank you. And also, Vicki mentioned this already, but if you're a member of the IDL PIG, you get to watch all these webinars for free. So it is well worth that $10 that you pay to belong to a SEG. I mean, this is education for the price of one and a half um, fast food meals. Right, and, and you can then, either uh, attend, you can attend them with us on live like you're doing, like we're doing right now, or you can watch the recording, and it's all for free if you're a member. Exactly. Thank you, Vicki. And then you also are, are are serving as our webmaster, mm -hmm. and so would you like to speak about our website, please? Sure. And well, we do have a website. It's one of the STC hosted websites, which has a, a number of advantage advantages. Um, which it means that you use WordPress. And WordPress is a really popular web design tool. Um, it is right now the most popular web design tool. And so if you want to learn about that, one good way to learn about it is uh, sign up to be our webmaster because I'll train you. Um, and then you'll be able to have that WordPress right on your resume. And it's hosted by STC, which means that all of the tough work of like updating the plugins and doing the backup and doing all the administrator type duties, all of those are already done for us by STC. So it has all of the benefits and none of the headaches, which is really great. Um, it does get a lot of eyeballs. We um, had 8,000 page views in the last uh, year, 
and that was over 2,000 users. So 8,000 page views, 2,000 users. Our website is pretty popular, which is really good. Um, our most popular pages are our most um, exciting things that happen in this thing. Our newsletter gets lots and lots of eyeballs. Our student program is getting lots and lots of attention online. Our education programs, we have a list of the various universities and colleges that do have IDL-related programs. Um, that page gets a lot of uh, attention, gets a lot of clicks. And our free webinars, of course, get lots of attention, lots of clicks. So we have a really great website. Not hard to administer. Um, really, it's kind of a copy-paste kind of a thing. If you're interested at all in learning WordPress, be able to put that on your resume. Give me a, give me a shout, uh, because we need a webmaster. Perfect. Thank you, Vicki. And now that Lori's back in the house, I'm going to go ahead and skip to her slide before we go to Marcia real quick. So Lori, if you're able to speak, um, we'd like to introduce our other assistant co-manager. I think Lori is still not quite mm -hmm. online yet. OK, she's typing. Yeah, she's typing. See if I need to speak with. Okay, okay. It's an email, but um, while she gets her audio, uh, Lori's our assistant co-manager. She served as secretary and membership manager, and she, along with Vicky, will serve as our incoming co-manager starting next year. And she's also an SCC fellow, and those are her two cats, really adorable ones, I may add. And you may recognize Lori. Um, if you belong to other STC communities, she uh, belongs to and volunteers with uh, several of them. So she's heavily involved. She's our volunteer extraordinaire. So um, Lori, once you get um, audio back, please feel free to chime in. But we'll go ahead and move on with the rest of the, the profiles to introduce our Motley crew. So now we have Marcia Shannon, our new IDL6 secretary. So go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself, Marcia. Thank you. Um, well, I lurked for quite a few years. I had gone to the Atlanta Summit and met Lori and a couple other folks and was very interested. But I just kind of lurked in the background until this last summit and decided, well, I could do this. You were looking for a secretary, and I decided that's a way to get involved. So I did it. I'm very glad I did. Anyone who's thinking about volunteering with this group, you get a lot of support, <clears throat> you get a lot of help, and you get a lot of patience. And I have appreciated all of that as I've kind of gotten into this new role. Um, my fun fact is back in a previous lifetime, um, I was really into motorcycles as a passenger. And we got to go around the Indy Speedway at one of the uh, motorcycle rallies. And it was a lot of fun. Yeah, that sounds cool. Oh, it was. Wow, that's neat. And so next, we have our James Puska, our treasurer. Tell us a little about yourself, James. Sure, thanks. Um, yeah, welcome, everybody. Thanks for being here. And thanks for your interest in uh, the Instructional Design and Learning SIG. Um, this is my third year as uh, the SIG treasurer. Um, I got into it, uh, well, basically I was at a summit walking the tables at the uh, community's reception, and, uh, and I met Melissa at the uh, IDL SIG table. And at the time, I was just making the transition from um, technical writing into uh, a new job that I had as a uh, technical trainer. And uh, that's, that's going pretty well. And, uh, and I'm finding the, uh, the IDL SIG to be a... Um, a good uh, a good source of, of resources and uh, you know as um, as we were saying earlier the the webinars are, are a tremendous resource for uh, uh, on various topics um, including today's on uh, animation and uh, PowerPoint um, so for the uh, the treasurer job specifically I you know I I did mention uh, Melissa mentioned to me that at the time they were looking for a treasurer and I happen to have treasurer experience, um, both in my local geographic STC chapter as well as uh, um, uh, 
as the fun fact there says, uh, running a pipe band for eight years. Um, I, I say yes to a lot of other things as well, and that's why I um, gave up running the pipe band. But I still have, um, well, they're just they're on the floor behind me here. Um, but uh, as treasurer, um, basically, as you would expect, like any other treasurer job, I oversee the financial administration of the SIG. Uh, that involves uh, paying bills, um, reimbursing expenses that uh, um, that uh, people in the SIG leadership incur. Um, um, I get uh, um, statements from head office. We keep our uh, our funds with them. Uh, uh, in as part of their bank account, uh, but I do get uh, statements from them in terms of um, what we've received and what we've spent. So I, uh, I, you know, as as you would do with your own checking account and and uh, uh, balancing that every month, I do something similar with uh, with those statements. Um, so I keep up to date records and I track all the revenues and expenses and and reconcile those statements. I um, I create monthly reports uh, for each one of our monthly meetings that, that uh, we have for the SIG, the, um, the SIG organizers have. And um, uh, just in the last few months, we've opened those meetings up to, to everybody. So if you want to listen in on our leadership meetings, you can. Um, and finally, there's a, you know just a couple of other duties, um, drafting the annual budget. Uh, for the SIG and submitting that to head office, I uh, usually draft a, uh, a preliminary version of that and then and then go over that with the co-managers uh, before submitting it to head office. And as with all FTC communities, the um, the budget request gets reviewed by the uh, community budget review committee, and um, and then we hear, generally hear back from them. Um, later in the year, I've never really had any um, any kinds of problems or anything that need to be addressed. Um, but often they'll have suggestions about uh, ways to ways that um, they know of that uh, you know might help save money. For example, um, in past years, communities were looking after their own web hosting, and now the STC has decided uh, a couple of years ago to uh, um, to let communities. Um, uh, Host their websites through head offices uh, um, uh, infrastructure that they have. So that's a way of, uh, of that, that's just a, an example of one of the suggestions that that they might have. So those are the kinds of things I do. I think all the bullets basically cover off those. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's uh, if you're analytical and you like working with figures and money the way I do, then uh, then it's a, a fun job. That's it. Right. Thank you. Thank you, James. Hey, you're welcome. So um, it looks like that all, a lot of us are we're really getting engaged both within the call and within the chat. So this is really great, um, a wonderful time for us to engage with one another. And it turns out a lot of us are musical, from James is running his pipe band to Vicky and Robert being part of the, the rough drafts and, and everything. And a lot of musicians, this is really musicians, singers, everything. We all make fine music together. <laughs> So our next member I'd like to introduce is Sarah Buchanan, our membership manager. I don't see her on the line, but as you can see by the slide, um, as membership manager, she reaches out to the new members to welcome them to the community, and she also provides them with resources that are due to the IDLC members. And we'll um, recap a lot of these uh, resources once we introduce everybody, because as SIG members, you get to enjoy a lot of really cool benefits. Um, one of them being the free webinars. And uh, one of her fun facts, she's a technical writer at LCS in Cincinnati, and she used to rock blue hair, and she rocks it really well, as seen by the picture here. So that's Sarah. Our next um, person we'd like to introduce is Scott McCoy, our mentoring manager. Scott, uh, please tell us a little about yourself and what you do within the SIG. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. All right. All right. Well, um, about myself, there's it's not much. I'm uh, a trainer. Um, I think James said he was a trainer too. 
uh, instructional designer, that type thing. Um, basically, my, my role in the uh, SIG is to um, promote people to get out to the STC mentor board. Um, many of you may know, or some of you may not know, that our mandate as, a, as an organization is predicated on us um, educating the community. So anytime we get out with our webinars or any of our other uh, activities, we're actually fulfilling that mandate and that keeps us as a nonprofit organization. Um, I just checked recently and um, if you go out to the STC mentor board, all the information is here. Um, you will find that there are 44 uh, mentors that have been 44 mentors for many, many months. But every day, it seems like we increase the number of mentees, the people who are interested in either improving their knowledge of technical communication, because they are technical communicators or, or trainers in these instructional design, or um, these are new people coming out of school or transitioning into the field who wish to transition. I've, I've had over the last several months, I've been um, dealing with about five to 10 people um, who, who I communicate with. And then they come back and they tell me, they send me their resumes and so on and so forth. And, and we work out a plan for them to um, enter the field of instructional design or, or um, technical communication. A lot of the individuals are English majors, writers themselves. And they just, you know, for whatever reason, they may, may have been outsourced or something. Um, so they want to come into the technical communication and instructional design field. So I, I advocate that you get out onto the STC site. Um, it's very easy to start um, a mentor account or a mentee account, a mentor you, account to, to deal with other individuals, like I say, mentor, or mentee, even for yourselves, if uh, there's an area that you oh, are yourselves interested in, get out there and start a mentee it's, um, account and then support. chase so, after um, them. And, this is a great um, program to uh, and, 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 show others the ropes, know, and if you need that assistance for a ride to yourself, learn new things, where you can be hooked up with um, someone with with high knowledge. So thank you. Next is Krista Mohammed, our newsletter editor. Um, Krista, mm -hmm. are you able to chat? Were you, were you able to dial in successfully? Okay, so I'll go ahead and speak for her, and um, she'll probably be typing in the chat as well. But as Robert mentioned earlier, she took over the, um, as the managing editor of our award-winning newsletter, IDL Designs for Learning. We publish this um, newsletter uh, quarterly. And um, just this past year, we started um, a really a, a, a kind of like a blog format of it, so it's a lot um, a lot easier to, to be able to interact with the content. So um, we've got some really exciting articles, and she's always looking for people to submit articles. And in fact, um, when we get to Sylvia Miller, she can speak a little bit about um, our student outreach program, which will invite students to give them the opportunity to become published um, even before they graduate. And as we can see, she can wiggle her ears. That's her fun fact. And um, Clicking to the next slide, here's, um, it's a little sideways. You may have to turn your head a little bit. But basically, this is just some information on how to submit articles. And ideally, you should be upright when you do it. But um, in any case, um, this is an open invitation to submit articles, why you should, um, what kind of articles we're looking for, anything having to do with instructional design or training or anything like that, whether it's um, theoretical or practical or what have you. And there's um, on our website, we um, if you go to the newsletter tab, you'll find more information on how to submit articles as well as the um, access to the issues themselves. So um, these are just some guidelines um, on submitting articles. and. Like we said, we, we always welcome everyone's input because all of you have something to say, have something to share, and we would all like to hear it. So that's a newsletter. Next is myself, Jamie Sagan. Um, I take care of surveys and social media, and I also help run the virtual open house. Um, I have no relation that I know of to Carl Sagan. In fact, when I was a kid, 
um, teachers would ask me, are you related to Carl Sagan? And at first I was like, no. But then eventually I was like, oh, yeah, he's my uncle. But um, to my knowledge, we're not related, but it's just still something fun. So what I do um, with surveys and social media, I manage, um, we do mini surveys as needed. Uh, we haven't done one in a while, but um, as topics arise, we take care of that. And I also help do the demographic surveys every two years. In fact, we're in the middle of one right now. So if you are a member, the link is out there on our website. And it was also emailed to you in an email, I think, sent out last week. But this is a great way for us to capture the pulse of our member base and to, um, to see what we can do to help serve you better. I also help set up elections for um, any offices. In fact, our last one was for secretary, so I set that up. I also manage your social media feeds, so we have Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And if it wasn't for our fellow members um, tweeting and, and posting and stuff, that, that, that just makes my job a lot easier because everyone else is so engaged. So um, we like to help spread the news through social media. And in fact, Vicki just posted a link to the demographic survey, the, to the article that's on our um, site. And Marcia said, has four cousins named James Stewart and none of them are actors. Who? That's still pretty cool. That's, that's a pretty cool fact. And um, just a little bit about myself with the SIG. Um, I was co-manager from 2010 to 2012 with Marilee Stoddard. And about myself, I am a knitter and a big Harry Potter mega nerd. And I'm also a lover of cats. I heart cats. In fact, I, the funny thing is I didn't really care about cats too much until I found my cat Gimli in the engine of my car um, back in 2002. Yeah, I, just, I was driving. I heard him meow. You know, pulled over, popped open the hood. There was a little kitten. He wasn't hurt, but he was all dirty. And I, I was just going to keep him for a couple of days. But then um, 12 years later, you know, it was love. But he, but Gimli, my, he passed away a couple of years ago. And um, I was able to pay tribute to him through my um, Summit Progression Series, um, lessons my cat taught me about instructional design. So I gave that during this year's Summit. And then this um, couple months ago, Along with Lori Meyer, I presented this as part of a TechCom showcase for our IDL SIG webinar. So um, I'm really happy that I'm able to combine my loves of my hobbies with technical communication. And so um, I'd like to talk a little bit about the training evaluations that Preeti Mathur um, handles. She couldn't be on the call today, but I just want to mention this really quickly because it's a really awesome service that we have. So one of the benefits of being an IDL SIG member is that you have the opportunity to have your training materials analyzed and reviewed by someone experienced in the field. And this can be at any stage of the game. This can be a finished product, or this could be a storyboard, this could be an outline, anything. And um, what's really wonderful about this is that you have another set of eyes. You have an expert set of eyes looking at your materials and they actually take the time to give you feedback about it. Um, on this slide, I detail how the, the program works. You fill out a form, and you're matched up with a, an evaluator. And then they, they meet with you. You arrange to um, exchange materials. And then they'll meet with you. Um, our, on our website, under training evaluation, um, we have more information about how to participate and what the process is. And if you have any questions, um, please contact Preeti. Her information is here, and it's probably also on the website as well. But I can personally attest that this is a wonderful benefit because I am not an instructional designer by trade, meaning I was not formally trained, but I am an instructional designer by experience. I've gained experience over the years, and I've learned a lot thanks to being part of the IDL SIG. So um, I know a lot of you are probably in the same boat as I am. So um, this is a really wonderful group to learn and to bounce ideas off of and to have people look at my material to make sure I'm heading in the right direction. So please take advantage of this program. You, it's free if you're an IDL SIG member. And 
the monetary value on this is priceless, really, because, I mean, it's, where else can you have somebody study your, your materials and give you detailed feedback? And speaking of feedback, let's go ahead and move on to Sylvia Miller, who uh, deals with student outreach. Sylvia, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do within the SIG. Hi, everybody. Well, um, I used to do scholarships. Uh, I did that for about eight or nine years. Um, and um, during that time, we gave away um, $10,000. I, I went back through records and added it all up. But now that SIGs are no longer giving scholarships, I am heading up the student outreach. Um, this is a program that um, a few of us in the SIG put our heads together. Um, it's been very much a um, collaboration. But um, by, um, I think Lori or um, Jamie mentioned it earlier, college students can enter um, a, an article that they've written on some topic about instructional design. They can uh, send it to us. Um, a team of judges in our SIG will review it and decide if we want to include it in publish it in our IDL SIG newsletter, which is called Ideal Design for Learning. It's on our website. So if we do publish their article in our newsletter, they get a uh, one-year student membership in FTC and the IDL SIG, which um, should be about $85 value. Then if the student agrees, we will submit their article to the technical communication body of knowledge. And if it's accepted for publication in that, they get an additional year's FCC membership and IDL SIG membership. So um, if you go to the website that I provided there, um, you will see the um, entry packet, and I believe there's also a link to a webinar that I did that gives all of the benefits and why students would want to become published or need to become published. My fun fact <laughs> um, <laughs> is that my first year of teaching, um, I had a very old car. My husband and I were both fresh out of college and um, kind of broke. And um, so I had an old car, and we were having trouble keeping the battery charged. So my husband said, honey, when you get to school, leave your car running for a little bit, and that will charge that battery. Well, I had a crazy, crazy teaching assignment. I was, we were teaching on split sessions. Um, I was teaching till 6 o'clock at night. And um, anyway, I just got caught up in my day and totally forgot that my car was running. And so it ran for eight hours. And um, <clears throat> I believe that's all I have to say. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you, Sylvia. Yep. Wow. Hey, Jamie. So, uh, yes, ma'am. Can um, so we have questions for Sylvia in the chat window? Okay, um, Sylvia. Let's see. Paula has a question. Are these English students or what? So, I guess what's your oh, what course of study would the students be in? Well, students can be um, in an instructional design major, or they really can be any major at all. You know, we all know that. We came, many of us came into TechCom from lots and lots of directions, you know, from, from science, from IT, uh, from English, from history. I've known philosophy majors who ended up as tech writers. And so um, your major really is irrelevant. The thing that uh, your article has to be is, 
related to some aspect of instructional design. So as long as the article has to do with instructional design, they can be of any major? Yes. Perfect. And then I think Kate's uh, question had to do with she's interested as a grad student in instructional design myself. So you would be eligible, it sounds like, based on your information. So Vicki will direct y'all to go to, that, to the web link that Sylvia shared. Um, perfect. So um, while we uh, wait for some, any more questions, I'm going to go ahead and um, just introduce a few other folks that um, work behind the scenes to, to run the IDL SIG. We have um, Preeti, who is our immediate past co-manager. Um, she does the training evaluations. And I, I, also, I actually forgot to list Cindy Powell. She is our immediate past co-manager as well. Um, Dr. Beth Bailey uh, runs our SIG mailman discussion list, and she's our communications manager, so she works with that. Henry McCormick is our content curator, um, which means um, all this information that we gather from our um, discussion lists and everything he puts together into information that we can share to everyone. And Virginia Butler handles our job postings, and Dr. Jackie Dambrow creates our summit roadmap. So every for every SCC summit, she goes through the list and finds any course that have to do with training and instructional design and constructs a roadmap for us that we can we know what sessions are available to us. And Marianne, thank you for joining us and good luck uh, with your training tomorrow. And um, and of course, uh, none of this is possible without you, our IDL SIG members. So thank you for letting us help you learn more about ID. And so without further ado, I um, just want to give you a, a quick overview of our benefits of membership. And I thought I had the animation set up to where they would display. And apparently they're not. So I will just, just mention real quickly um, We've been pretty much talking about our overall benefits. You know, free admission to our SIG webinars. We have an email discussion list. Um, we have our virtual training evaluation workshop. Um, our newsletter, not only can you read it, but you have a chance to contribute to it. We also have book and tool reviews. We have a great um, resources um, portion on our website that leads you to more information about instructional design. So we have a business directory, our mentoring program, our student outreach program, and of course, opportunities to gain leadership and instructional design experience because volunteering helps give you that, um, that opportunity. And oh, wow, now they're popping up. Ta da! So, pretty much what I just mentioned here. Apparently, I I needed to take Robert's webinar to heart when I was. Um, well, I, I did this before I heard his web before I heard his webinar. But these are pretty much all the different benefits that we have um, within the SIG. And so we have um, our summit presence. So I had a link here to our to our website, so where you can see um, different pictures um, from the summit, but they're all on our website. So, oh, apparently I had to click here. I was clicking the arrow. So um, basically, we meet in person at the annual SCC Technical Communication Summit, and we have various opportunities in which to meet, whether it's we have an informal gathering at some local restaurant or bar. We also have our annual business meeting. Um, in fact, you saw that picture earlier where we were all dressed up like Disney. Um, we have a table at, the, at our community's reception. In fact, in the picture right here, you see Melissa and Robert manning our table. Now, of course, um, we all helped out as well, those of us who attended. But um, as you can see on the table, we had plenty of information to give out about the SIG as well as some awesome swag. And of course, we have the roadmap posted online, which I mentioned earlier, that tells you what sessions have to do with instructional design. And then next year's summit is May 7th through the 10th in Washington, D.C., and we hope to see you all there. And we also um, we have a link here to our community's reception. So if you visit this link, you can see some really spectacular pictures. 
I bring it up right now, except that we have about five minutes remaining in our call. So um, you can check this out at your own leisure. And um, you can either relive the experience if you've gone to Summit, or if you didn't go, you get to check, out, check us out. And um, also, we have a link here to our SIG business meeting, Disney style. So you get to see some action shots of all of us. So basically, what we do at the SIG business meeting is we um, discuss you know, what we've done over the past year, and then we also brainstorm ideas on what we can do. Because again, this is the main chance that we get to um, chat with one another. Oh, and Sylvia suggests we have an ear wiggling contest at the next summit. So I think Krista's got that one in the bag. Oh, <laughs> Paula. Aw. Well, we hope that um, maybe if you work with your chapter, um, I know sometimes they, they send their um, some certain numbers. But, um, but if you have the chance to attend Summit, whether your employer, um, whether you're fortunate enough to have an employer that pays your way, or if you get funding through STC, or if you self-fund, it's well worth the experience, not just with the educational courses, but also with um, meeting other people. And so um, volunteers, we we don't have our SIG would not be as successful as it was were it not for our volunteers. But we're always searching for people that are willing to help and to um, lend their expertise. So visit please visit our website for details on SIG volunteer opportunities. Um, Robert, Lori, Vicky, um, in what areas are we in most need of volunteers? So this is Vicki. We need a webmaster and a programs manager. Perfect. Programs and, and webmaster. So if you have to learn WordPress, this is a great opportunity for you to do so. So just visit the website if you're interested. And remember, this is something great you can find on your resume, and you're helping us out, and you're gaining wonderful experience. And this is. You can't put a price tag on that. And Kate, we hope that you can attend the summit as well, where it's because it's always nice to be able to see our members in person. So volunteer yeah. if you can. Um, uh, yes, because the um, the SIG does have a budget for sending volunteers to the summit. So if you get heavily involved in the SIG, then the SIG will help you out. Um, making your way to the summit. Perfect. Thank you for sharing that, Vicki. So every little bit helps when you, you know, we need the assistance to go. Again, it's well worth it. So you, how do you join? Well, first of all, if you're not already a member of the IDL SIG, you need to be a member of STC, Society for Technical Communication, because the, IDL, the special interest group falls under the umbrella of STC. So on this slide right here, we have some information. If you're already a, an STC member, we have some instructions on what you need to do when you renew your membership and how to and making sure that you select instructional design and learning as a special interest group. And again, it's only $10. And this is the best $10 that you'll spend because of this wealth of knowledge, this wealth of experience, this wealth of networking that you gain. It's priceless. And then if you're not a member of STC, um, you can go to the STC website shown here, and you can click Join or Renew, and you can um, follow the prompts to, to join STC. And remember to select um, ID, um, Instructional Design and Learning as one of your SIG. And what's really cool is I'm seeing in the chat that we have a lot of people already starting the network because they're geographically near each other. So this is really wonderful. This is, I mean, I'm really happy to see all of this engagement within our virtual open house because this is a great way for us to, to gather together. And I'm, I'm really happy. So this is the information on how to join the IDL SIG and how to join STC. Here is our contact information. Um, you can reach us through many different um, means. So we, of course, we have our website. We have our social media outlets. 
We also have a discussion list, which we use um, if you have any questions or have any, like Melissa was talking earlier about um, any professional issues or questions that you have if you're working on a product, a project, use this um, discussion list and you'll reach out to our like, 700 so member or 500, 600, 700 members. You'll reach out to that entire base and who knows, somebody may have just the answer that you need. And then here are some email addresses and if you go to our website, you can um, get access to different um, emails. So that's how to reach us at the IDL SIG. And now um, we have door prizes. Since it is 801 and because um, we're running short on time, let me quickly explain how we're going to do the door prizes. So when, when you registered, you um, what we're going to do is we're going to take that spreadsheet of everyone who registered for the um, virtual open house, whether or not you attended live. We're going to use a random number generator. We're going to pick four names at random, and those four people are going to receive $25 Amazon gift cards. So right after the call, we'll go ahead and um, do the drawing, and um, we'll go ahead and announce our, the winners of the door prize. So I think that's the, probably the easiest way of doing that so that we don't run too much over, um, over the call. So um, even if you weren't present right now tonight at 8.02 p.m. Central Time, you can still be eligible if you signed up through Eventbrite. So um, this is just a great way of um, saying thank you for joining us and, um, and hoping that you got a lot of really good information. And so now it is time to party. And even though it's a little bit late, can't help it. I love Footloose. i got to share it. we got to cut loose. Footloose. Kick off the Sunday shoes. So um, in these last few minutes, um, anybody, if anybody wants to share anything or to um, any last minute um, reflections or thoughts, please share them. Oh, Christy, you're wearing your Wednesday shoes. Well, tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow will be Thursday and the next day Friday and then Saturday. And dinner time. Yeah, luckily I ate right before the call, so I'm actually fine. I just probably have to go give the cats a snack, but that's okay. So, uh, Jamie, I just wanted to say that I had a great time at the summit. Um, but Thank I you. have also, I have also had a good time just in some of our virtual meetings. You know, our our um, IDL sort of. A volunteer meeting. I just I like talking to you guys. I just feel like I'm part of the team. And um, and when we all get together at the summit, then we get to see face to face the people that we've only been talking to each other, you know, either um, through a virtual meeting or on our LinkedIn group or in our Facebook group. I think it's. I, I think our SIG has just really got a lot going on. Everybody's super supportive. Um, we have great volunteers. And I have to agree. Great group of people. We have a great group of people. We have a great group of managers, and we have awesome members. And we have fun meetings. We sure do. And so I appreciate all these times that we have to, um, to meet up, to be able to communicate through voice or by finger, you know, by typing. <laughs> by finger. And then also, the yeah, let your fingers do the walking and the talking. And it's also great, you know, and being able to see each other in person is just the icing on top of the cake. So just because we don't get to see each other in person doesn't mean that our relationships are any less deep because, um, you know, we've gotten to bond over the years, you know, with the group as we've um, evolved into different roles and, you know, whether per personally or professionally, it's just really neat being able to um, be with a wonderful group of people. And so um, with that, I want to thank you all for joining us on the call, whether you're here live or whether you're watching this recording. 
And if you're not already a member of the IDL SIG, we hope to see your name in the membership role. So without further ado, I want to wish everyone a really great night and have a wonderful evening. Thanks, Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you everyone.